everyone. It's Miss Brittany from the Racine Zoo. How are you? I hope you're well. So we still can't go to the zoo, but I can still bring the zoo to you. So let's start by clapping our hands and singing hello. Clap our hands. Sing, sing, sing hello, sing hello together. Sing, sing, sing hello, sing hello together. And everyone says hello. I'm so glad you could join me today. Today is gonna to be super exciting because we're gonna learn about Earth Day. Now Earth Day is April 22nd and we celebrate it every year. Have you ever celebrated Earth Day before? Do you know what Earth Day is? Earth Day is a day where everybody comes together and they care about the Earth. They come together and they demonstrate that they support uh, fixes for environmental issues. A lot of times people will spend time planting trees or cleaning up beaches or even planting gardens in their yards. It's a great way to show that you care about the earth. So in honor of Earth Day, today we're going to read Pout Pout Fish Cleans the Ocean. Pout Pout Fish is one of my family's favorite books and this one is a near and dear favorite to us as well. This book is by Deborah Dyson. What do you think it's about? ocean is amazing, Mr. Fish's grin was wide. The beautiful surroundings left him wonderstruck inside. His head was full of happy, his heart was full of awe, but his smile sank away as he turned around and saw. What's that? What does he see? It was a big, big mess. Hmm, sounds like a problem. What could it be? But he really couldn't tell. So he talked to his friend who had noticed it as well. There's a problem that needs solving and I don't know what to do, but I'm going to find some answers. Would you like to join us too? Absolutely, said Miss Shimmer. She had grabbed a few supplies. They traveled to the mystery mess to see with their own eyes. Swimming off, they were enchanted by the ocean big and bright, but looming in the distance was a dark and dismal sight. It was a big, big mess. What's it made of, they both wondered as they pondered this out loud. Around them, others gathered in a small but growing crowd. There's a problem that needs solving. What do we do? We're going to find some answers. Would you like to join us too? Count us in, said Mr. S Mr. Seahorse. He powered up his rig. Enthusiasm bubbled. Yes, the group was getting big. They jetted through the ocean in a peaceful sort of bliss but the thing that stretched before them was impossible to miss. It was a big, big mess. Who will fix it? Fish were asking, hoping someone else would know. There's a lot of conversation and they traveled with the flow. There's a problem that needs solving and we don't know what to do, but we're going to find some answers. Would you like to join us too? One, said Mrs. Squid as she swished by some junk. The group continued forward toward the nearing pile of gunk. They reached the mystery mess. They took measurements and samples. They made notes and they did research and they found similar examples. Everyone was finished. They assembled to discuss and they came to one conclusion. The problem here is us. We made this big, big mess. They froze in disbelief. Then they began to shout, feeling troubled and uneasy, and some began to pout. <sighs> we 
were they stuck like this forever? Would it worsen? Would it grow? Mr. Fish was worried too. But there's one thing that I know. It's awful that we caused it, but this bad news can be good. See, for if we made this mess, that means we can solve it, if we all agree we should. Silence filled the ocean. Their future was at stake. In that moment of decision, which one would they make? A big, big yes. We can do it, they exclaimed, positively yes and yup. So they all pitched in together and they cleaned the ocean up. They gathered up the garbage with the help of everyone and they worked to fix and remedy the damage that they'd done. Then they talked about new habits, how to travel with less trace, how to reduce on the use of plastic, and how to put trash into its place. The problems have solutions, so they learned what we can do. Together, we're the answer. Would you like to help and join us too? I would. Did you like that book? I really, really like it. Because I like that they teach us that every problem has a solution. We created this problem so we can fix it. And that's really, really great. And I think we can apply that in our everyday life here. So we've created this problem with pollution on the planet and we can fix it. And we can do that by applying the four R's. Do you wanna learn about the four R's with me? Ready, let's count to four first. One, two, three, four. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Now our first R is reduce. Our second R is reuse. Our third R is recycle. And our fourth R is renew. Those are the four R's. Reduce, reuse, recycle, renew. Let's talk about that first R, reduce. Reducing our waste is the number one thing that we can do for the earth. That is something that everyone can work to do. It's something that I'm working on doing and it's something that I want you to work on doing. Reducing the amount of waste that we put onto the earth. Now, that would be things like using a reusable water bottle instead of a plastic one, using a reusable straw instead of a plastic straw. Those are easy things that we can do. Did you know that packing a Lunchable from the store, like going to the store, getting a Lunchable and packing it for your lunch, that creates three times more waste than just making a lunch at home and taking it to school. It's simple things like that that can reduce the amount of waste that we make. Let's talk about that second R, reuse. Did you know that by using one reusable water bottle for your water, you can eliminate up to a thousand water bottles going into the ocean? That's a lot of water bottles and that using that one reusable water bottle can actually help eliminate up to six million gallons of fuel used to make new water bottles. That's a lot. By you doing that one action and that one thing, you are helping the planet with a lot of good. So imagine what you could do if you used more reusable products, like reusable straws or reusable diapers or reusable shopping bags. By eliminating that single-use plastic, you're eliminating that plastic going into the ocean, you're eliminating our fossil fuels being used to make them, and you are helping the planet. You can do a lot of good by reusing. Our third R is recycle. Now, recycling is really, really important because it takes things that we're gonna throw into the trash and it turns it into new things. So, when we recycle, the things that we recycle can be turned into new water bottles. It can be turned into play parks. It can be turned into phone cases. It can be turned into a lot of things. So it's really, really important that we give it that opportunity to be able to do that. 
And so when we want to recycle, we can recycle a couple things. You can recycle glass, you can recycle aluminum cans, you can recycle cardboard and paperboard, you can recycle paper. Now you don't want to recycle things that have food on them. So that would be like a used pizza box or paper plates or paper towels that have been used. Those things, you want to put those in the trash. But if it can be recycled, you want to make sure you do that. And our fourth R is renew. We want to make sure that we're giving back to the planet by using renewable and sustainable sources. So an example of this would be if we wanted to eat seafood, we should eat seafood from a sustainable seafood source. And when we're buying products, we want to make sure that we're looking to see if it's using sustainable uh, palm oil. So these are really, really important things that we can do to give back to the earth. Now let's go over those four R's again. Ready? Reduce, reuse, recycle, renew. Good job. So thanks for joining me today and learning a little bit about Earth Day. Earth Day is one of my favorite days to celebrate because I get to do so much for the planet. And our home is beautiful and the planet is our home, so we should take care of it the best we can. And we wanna make sure that we're constantly giving back to her because she gives us so, so much. All right, my friends, it was great to be here with you today and I hope you learned a little bit from me today. I look forward to seeing you again soon hopefully at the zoo. All right, bye friends. Let's sing goodbye. Clap your hands. Sing, sing, sing goodbye, sing goodbye together. Sing, sing, sing goodbye, sing goodbye together. And everybody says goodbye. Bye friends. Mm -hmm.